presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. <coughs> know what the needs of your body are and what the needs of your mind are, what fits with you, what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women, and some of them will make a good match for you and others won't. The two you only need to be like a key and a lock, a match that works. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 22, NASDAQ Dow up one, SP's down two. Gold, gold contract flat, 1834 an ounce. We have silver down six cents, twenty-one dollars, eight cents an ounce. Light sweet crude, down a buck ninety, eighty-two dollars, thirty-two cents a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note, up seven ticks, trading 107.10, 30 year. Down three ticks at 111.13 in King Dollar. King Dollar trading down 453 ticks at 106.346. Euro at 105. Yen's at 148. And the British pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. <coughs> what we got out here is this market is waiting for these job numbers tomorrow and I got a feeling these job numbers are going to be light and this market probably wants to pop. So if we go back three days, right, what you had is that you take a look at it, you came back to the breakout area. We came back to basically, what is that, 80 million and 100 million on the um, SPY and it came back with 105. Then yesterday, we did 87. Now, today, you're doing 52. But what you had happen here also is that, watch, you're doing 52. But this rejected lower price out here this morning. So we take, let's go look at the futures. You'll see the futures. It looked like it could be, it could be a horror show and this morning because the bottom line, you know, thing is down to 42.58. And then, guess what, you know, about 10, 30, 11 o'clock, just decided to take off. So it's at the top of the range right now. That's where we're sitting right now. That is going to be predicated. I'll go, I'm going to go right to the dollar because the, it's just, it's, it, this is just wild, man. I mean, you can see the dollar. The dollar had a one-way route on the way down today. Now, I'm going to bring this over here because this is the picture. This is uh, our man, Mr. Bud Rolfs, right? the channel master. And what you want to really get your head wrapped around on this, there's not so much, the, the, the channels are going to be important because if we have one more down day, we will break this channel. But what I want you to really look at is that since July, this is so unusual, since July, every time that the dollar has pulled back, you didn't have more than a two-day pullback. You know, look at this. Here, one day, rejected it, you're higher again. Here was only one day. Here was one day. Here's two days. Here was one day. Here, well, I can't count that. I mean, that's really one day. This is two days. That was like four days ago last week, and here's two days. So that's how strong the dollar has actually been, running higher. So we'll see how this shakes out tomorrow, because the jobs number comes out at 8.30, if this goes down another half a point, you're going to break the channel. 
Now, what does happen when you break a channel line, the bottom line is that way you're going to go back up and test it. But we'll see how this shakes out, man. That's the bottom line. If we go, I'm going to go right from there to the bond market because they're all in correlation. And the 10-year, you know, bottom line, you know, the, the, the cool thing, like, I'm looking and I'm, I'm, I'm saying, okay, has this bottomed? I mean, I thought it bottomed a couple weeks ago, and it didn't. And it's like, okay, one of the things that, you know, you came down, you rejected lower price yesterday. But what's also happening is that you can't turn on any type of financial news without everyone just talking about bonds. So it's like, what are these deals? You know, if you remember, you Tigers and Tigers, as we came to the, um, the one we did at the World Trade Center in Boston, the uh, webinar, not the webinar, that was, that was live, actually. And I remember Tom Dorsey, when he started off, uh, he does this deal with magazines. And as soon as the magazine, as soon as it's on the front page of the magazine, forget it, it's over, right? So it is intriguing that, you know, we're pretty close to that type of situation. The real kicker, though, is that do you just get a dead cat bounce and rates stay, you know, at the, you know, four and a half percent on the 10 year or four percent even, you know, instead of going like the, you know, the sweet spot in the 10 year would be about three and a half to three. And what I'm saying, what I mean by that, folks, is that if you can get the 10 year down to that, what ends up happening is that that releases pressure on the marketplace, on the mortgage market, all of the above. You can see this 4.7 equals almost uh, 7.5 to almost 8, you know, mortgage, which is about as intense as you can get. Well, in this, in this day and age, okay, because the bottom line is that, you know, people, they're, they're, they're talking about the aspect, hey, this can get higher, they've been a lot higher. Well, they were a lot higher, folks, when prices were a lot lower, <laughs> you know, the, the, the correlation is about as intense as you can get, okay? They, we didn't have rates at 8 and 10% when the normal house is like 400000 The normal house, in fact, I'm going to pull that up. I bet the normal house then was like 40000 but probably 10 times more than that. We take a look at the gold contract, hasn't been able to get off the bottom. You know, gold contract, 158000 They're not sinking it, but the bottom line is that it hasn't been able to catch a bid. If we go to the silver contract... Kind of the same set. Well, it is the same setup, the exact same setup. And you know, this market now is waiting for tomorrow morning for sure. You know, so the job numbers come in light. That's going to be another piece of information that would say that okay, they're not going to go up anymore. The question is, is that how long are they going to keep it sideways, and how long are they going to keep it tight? Dow Industrial's down 12, Nasdaq's off 10, S&P's off 5. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industries right now down 10. You get the NASDAQ off 9. S&P's down 5. Let's go into the NDX 100 and see the strength versus the weakness out here. So you got, oh, this is a new one. What is this? Oh, no, Co CoStar Group. Oh, we're going to pull that up. CoStar is up 3.3. You get Celgene. Now, Constant Constellation Brands up 2. Micron's up 1.7. Regeneron's up 1.6. Let's go to CoStar for a second. This is interesting. So CoStar, folks, okay, this is the big commercial, you know, I actually get a subscription to this thing. Let me see about this. The low 65, the high is 92. So for commercial data, this is like kind of the best data you can get out there. So what is moving this thing? Because this the commercial market is in a mess. Let's see. I don't know. Let's pull this up again. Take a look at this. Put this back on a weekly. Yeah. You know, the chart's not that of a mess compared to what it is. Well, I guess, you know, what also ends up happening there is that just like I'm on there for deals, so there's plenty, there's plenty of subscriptions that, yeah, I can see how that works now. I, I can see how that actually could get bigger because the more the commercial property goes down, the more people are going to be hunting it, and that's the place you hunt it. So taking away from the NDX to the 100, you get Lucid down 7. Oh, that baby's getting hit big. Holy cow, look at this. I'm going to see what's going on here. Yeah, they're getting taken apart. This right now. That's quite a move. That breaks 487, and that's going to be real trouble, man. That gets. That definitely gets interesting. If this one, where am I? Let's go to our man Peter in Park City. Peter, what's going on, brother? Hey, not much, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Hey, I had an observation for you you might like. Cool. Um, so I know you don't use, uh, uh, you, or you, you use the uh, kind of the Forex for, you know, the euro and stuff. But I use the futures contract. Okay. If, um, so it's slash um, S, or pardon me, slash uh, 6E. You put that up on a weekly chart. 
you go back March, I think it was third or sixth of this year, there was like 2.2 million contracts. We just tested that. And if this week can close above, uh, what is it, uh, 1.05275, I believe it is, um, that'll be a huge, you know, basically failure uh, on the downside of price and volume. Check that out. Lovely. I'm trying to, I'm trying to pull up with you pulling up here in the futures. One second. Let me see. So the euro, I, sh I know I can pull this up. I'm just trying to figure Yeah, so it's, it's nice to be able to use the futures because you can get the volume. Yeah, no, totally. It's got to be the straight. It can't be the, the this, uh, December contract. It's yeah, no, I know. I know. One second. Yeah. Euro. Okay. You know, I'll. Well, here's a generic one. Yeah, I, I got it. So we're talking about 105.7 right now, close to that, right? Well, uh, in the futures, we're like, yeah, 105.77. So tell me, what, what is the last two symbols you have? Um, so it's uh, think or swim. It's backslash six e. Six e. Okay, I'll, I'll find what it is on here. But I, I see what you're saying, right? Go back to March. Yeah, it's March either third or sixth. I can't remember exactly. Uh, but I stumbled on it over the weekend. I'm like, oh my gosh, this week it's totally going to close above that. I just know it, and you know we're fifty pips above it right now. Right. Right. It's, there you go. This has been quite a ride. I know, man. I mean, that's it's about as intense as you can get. And I can see yeah. it. Yeah, you're right there, right? So that's also, let's look at this. That's interesting. That's a 50% retracement of the lows, too. If they, if, you know, if we if we do start going higher again. Yeah, I mean, this this run on the dollar has been amazing. The, you know what's amazing, Peter? The the correlation, I just, we haven't seen a correlation like this in a long time, man. I mean, it's like insane, you know? Dollar up, market's down. And like today, we're up a half a penny, but yet, you know, the, the market's really, I'm not catching a bid. But that's the deviance inside the market, too, you know? I think I lost them. Do I get Tim? Yep, I'm here. I'm here. Hey, hear what's, go what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, a little bit late. It's, anyhow, that's, uh, I'm that, here. That's all right. Um, we got out here. Yeah, one second. One second, Tim. We got our man, Mr. Tim right. Ward, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday, folks. And you can get hold of Tim every trading day at ord-oracle.com. That's ord-oracle.com. And you know what, Tim? You know what's so funny about that? I was listening to you, Tommy, and Jacob, and I always say Ord dash Oracle, and I heard Jacob saying hyphen. I said, oh, that's what it's supposed to be, a hyphen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, pre appreciate the, the call out. So, Absolutely. Are you kidding um, me? Where were you, where were you Tuesday? Um, I just couldn't make it. Yeah. All right. I just couldn't make okay, it. Okay, whatever. Yeah. So, but... Um, Actually, I sent you over some charts. We can take a look at them. I got them. Can... We want to start with number one? Yeah, actually, let's, let's actually uh, flip the chart four and five, which is on the S&Ps. Okay. No problem. Four and five. Here we go. I get four right here. Yeah. Yeah, four. Because I'm thinking this is kind of an important area. I did get long last Thursday. Yep. And the top window is the... 10-day average of the trend. Yes. And the chart goes back, it looks like about a year or so. And I just shaded the areas in pink when that 10-day trend got above 1.2. And over the last week or so, you know, we're in that shade. Well, we only hit 1.19. You know, this is not a perfect science. It's not like math. One plus one is two. Yeah. Uh, but one point. I had a couple of different days there, or 10-day periods, where that ratio did hit 1.19, and I shaded that in pink. And we're in that vicinity right now. And usually, you're supposed to see panic. Panics happen when the trend is above 1.2 or near 1.2 and higher. And usually, when you get to a support area, that's where the panic should occur at, if actually that area is going to be support. Yes. So, uh, so we got down to, I said in previous on your show, I thought, the market had plenty, pretty good support around that 120 area, 
And if that area is going to be support, that's when the, the, the 10-day trend should get up around 1.2 or higher. And sure enough, it is. Not saying the, you know, can we go a little bit lower, maybe. But anyhow, we're in the vicinity right now that, uh, uh, it's a good place for the, the bottom to form because there's a trend line across there. It's pretty much uh, the previous highs, basically the highs of uh, oh, late or uh, looks like about August of 2022. That yeah, stay, just stay there, just stay there for a second. Yeah. Well, and Tim, do you also remember, you know, when you were first saying where you thought the spy was going, you thought it was going to the 420. Then it looked like it was going to hold at that 4, you know, 30, 32. Yeah. But it hit the 420. Yeah. Just stay right there, folks. Tim and I are coming right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019 finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. And Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Oy, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate your growl and prowl with us. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now uh, up eight. NASDAQ is down two. SPs off two. Okay, Tim, so uh, we're looking at this uh, S&P, the trend right now. Right, the S&P trend. Are, and actually, yeah, we were talking on the show, it was around that 430, 435 on the S&Ps. And I listed uh, just on a daily chart all the ticks and trend readings on those days in that in that range. It was like 430 to uh, to 445 or something. I don't remember exactly what the number was. But the 10-day trend never got up to one near 1 
And so, and finally it did. And, it, and uh, as we broke through below that 430 area, that's when the panic really started to occur. And that's when, you know, basically a 10 day trend, you know, that's two weeks of pretty much selling because that's, you know, two weeks is, uh, is 10 days. No, no, I'm with days. it. And, and what so I meant. Quite a bit of le leaning on the sell button. Yeah, no, there's no doubt. And what I meant, you know, because do you remember at the beginning of this downdraft, you were looking for 420. And then it, yep. the market was stalling, you know, and it is like, okay, man, I mean, we've all done the same thing. It's like, oh, my God, I can't believe you, you get the right number at the right time. I mean, do you know what I'm saying? And it's like, okay, yeah. here we go. But because yeah. it, it is intriguing. That number is intriguing because, you know, it comes back to the breakout area too, right? I mean, that's, that's yeah. where it went. Yeah. Yeah, but we're just basically testing a, a trend line. So yeah. I'm thinking this is pennies. It's pretty good. But now let's look at another chart. So it's... There's more, okay. there's more indicators here. Uh, chart number five. Okay. Um, the, actually, the bottom window is what they call the Zag, Zwag, uh, Marty Zwag. He okay. died. Yes. But he was a, a brilliant, um, I don't know, trader, whatever. And he yes. Made, uh, I don't know how much he made. He made a lot of money in the market. And he came up with this bre uh, Zwag breath thrust indicator. And I kind of put it on a... Uh, it's it's uh, anyhow. I simplified it a little bit. It's, it's pretty close to exactly what his rules are. But what it is in general is the uh, NYSE advancing issues divided by the NYSE total in issues, and you take a ten day or uh, yeah, a ten day. I think it's a ten day. I can't quite read it. Yeah, it's a ten day average of that ratio. When it falls below forty point four zero. Yes. Point four and rallies to point six. That's why you call it a, a, a zwag breath thrust. Okay, and that's what that's coming off of a low. So you, you really plunge down. Yep, and hit it's within and then within ten days it has to get above point six. Right. So it has to happen in a ten day period. It has to go below point four to point six in ten days. That's uh, and those blue lines show the times or blue arrows show the times that has happened. So we're uh, we're point four right now, but over the last couple of, a couple of days ago, I think it got down to point three six. So we did hit below point four zero. What I'm hoping for on this next rally, within ten days of hitting below point four, we hit above point six. Yes. And if we do that, that'll be a uh, a zwag breath thrust. And that, those type of things that come at uh, major market bottoms. Sometimes you get two or three. Sometimes you just get one. At that last low, you know, from May of, of 2020 to May of 2020, or 20, you know, 2000, May of 2022 to May of 2023, that happened twice. And I got it noted there. So that's the reason why it's kind of bullish intermediate term. That break thrust happened twice in that region. So I'm hoping it happens now. It depends on this next rally. And with Tim's. Go ahead. You know, with Tim's saying here, folks, okay, this is so cool. You know, he does a lot with ratios. And as he's explaining this, you know, Tim, you, you can see, we both know when, when you come off bottoms, as, as Tim was just talking about, off big bottoms, you just, people can't believe that you can come off them with such strength. And when that happens, you normally do see two or three monster moves. So this is really cool, man. I'm, I'm, I, I like these ratios you're doing, Tim. I mean, it's, they're, they're really cool, man. I mean, because it, it, yeah, I well, think I it see. smooths things out. Do you know what I mean? It take, they yeah. take longer to basically come off. That would make sense, right? But the bottom line mm -hmm. is, is that that's, that's what you want. I mean, right? That's, that's how it comes down, man. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, especially you know, it kind of hangs down there and and chops around, gets everybody really nervous. Uh, yeah, exactly. I didn't send another chart. I I got another sentiment chart, which kind of show where the public is. I didn't send that to you, but okay, uh, maybe we'll cover it next week. But anyhow, this is what I'm kind of looking for. It depends on this next rally. Will we get a breath, uh, a zwag breath thrust? That's hard to say for me. But anyhow, uh, you're doing a good job. Thrust. If we get one, <laughs> then I'm thinking we're looking for an. Even though we may consolidate again, you know, to me that would be we're going to bust through those little highs we had back in uh, what 
late 2021 or early 2022. I can't quite see where it is. But I think we'll bust through those highs and possibly head higher. But also, one another thing. So we got the bottom window, uh, again, is the uh, the ratio of advancing issues divided by total issues. Take a 10-day average of it. It gets below minus 40. And also, when the RSI, which is the second window down from the top, yep. gets to below 30, when that combination happens, and those marked with red lines there, you're usually looking at some, at least on a short-term basis, at least a short-term bounce. So we're setting that at a low just because the market's too extended to the downside. And plus, you know, on chart four, we got a lot of panic on that decline. Yep. So we got quite a bit of information that probably, you know, will it go up tomorrow, don't know. Uh, but we're, we're in the region of some sort of a worthwhile low here. And, uh, and the jobs, and the jobs number... You know, it comes out tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning. So, you know, the unemployment number came out today, and that was light, man. I mean, you know, people getting unemployed, you know, well, it was heavy, actually. Um, you know, but that jobs number is going to be important because the ADT number, a AP, yeah, anyway, whatever number that was, uh, come out yesterday, that was also soft. But you never can de really depend on that for the actual jobs number. Because if this jobs number comes in soft, this market's going to go because that would be saying that the Fed is basically done, you know, and then we'll see, okay, where the interest rate structure goes. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be intriguing. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm thinking so. it could be already baked into the cake here, um, you know, because we've got a, quite a few ingredients of, of a bomb. you got panic. Uh, you got this, you know, breast his white breath strung, you know, selling out to the top, can it go lower, maybe. But usually it's where it stops, especially when the RSI is, you know, hit below 30. So I, I'm thinking, you know, that, that numbers, you know, smart money probably already knows what that is. That's what I'm thinking. But, you know, if, if that could really produce a decent rally, though, and if that Zweig, um breath thrust hits 60, you know, I'm bullish until year end because I yeah. think you'll have some minor consolidations. But in general, I think this market will work right higher all the way into December. And that's what's uh, so cool perfect. about it hitting 60. So I can see what you're talking about for sure, man. Because then, then, and what happens technically on that, folks, is that the first rally coming off the lows, the people that are shot won't cover it. Then you get another rally. Then it's like, then a lot of people cover it. Then you get the next rally that everyone has to cover it. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's right. yeah. yeah. Tim and I are going to be coming right back, folks. You stay right there. We have the Dow Industrials down five, NASDAQ's up five, SPs are up four. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech 
today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim will Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us. And don't forget, folks, uh, Tim's got a great newsletter. You can reach Tim at Ord hyphen oracle.com that's odd hyphen oracle.com we have the dow right now down two nasdaq's off three s p is off four and uh looks like everyone's waiting for this jobs number tomorrow morning so okay yeah. so where would you like to go tim all right let's go to one okay chart one yep i got you all right so you know, this chart goes back to uh 2012 okay and it's the bottom window uh indicator which is a uh GDX uh, up down volume uh, percent with a 50 uh, day average and and the circled red stuff there is when that indicator got below minus 20 yes and if you go and if you go up to the the top window which is GDX when that thing hit that bottom indicator hit minus 20 the market actually went most times went fly, sideways if not down a little bit Last time this happened was in um, August of 2022. It went down probably looks like about three four months before the rally actually started, and the minus 20 hit back on um, I think it was June June 13th of 2003. This thing hit uh, minus 20. So now that's higher than where the price is now. But if you look at the previous time it happened, the market kind of skidded down for another few months before the rally actually began. So when this indicator hits below minus 20, I usually say the decline's over. Either it flips sideways to modestly down. That's exactly what's happening. So um, so now, okay, let's, let's flip to, uh, so anyhow, add, uh, June 13th, you add four months, you come up with October uh We've gone sideways for about almost four months. Yeah, we have. Now, no, I can see the, that. Yeah, flip the charge two. Okay. Uh, this is kind of a blown up chart. The blue areas are when this indicator is above, uh, uh, I think it was minus or zero, but this is above zero. And when it's just non colored, when the indicator is below zero. Okay. But anyhow, if you look at. The last time this happened, it, it was uh, July or August of 2022. You flipped sideways for six months. Then of uh, last year, that June 13th time frame, the market went side four months, and we, we got a signal here, uh, June, thir uh, June 13th, 23. So we're basically gone sideways for four months, and uh, the indicator has dropped down below a, a low level. Similar to what happened in 2022, that's if you go back to the bottom of the chart, that indicator I just circled in red. Yes, something similar. Um, so I'm thinking we're, we're doing okay. I mean, the market's supposed to be doing previously what it's done in the past. So let's flip to chart three. Okay. Now, now this is a little bit different indicator. Still the GDX up down volume, but it's an 18 day average. And the next one above it is the 18-day average of advanced decline indicators. And what I want to point out here is the positive divergence, what happened. You can take these positive divergence all the way back to 2012. The same thing happens every time. 
the S or the GDX makes lower lows, and both those indicators make higher lows. And I pointed those out with red arrows. Yes. So uh, to really get this rally going, you need a close above minus 10 on both those indicators and stay above minus 10. Last two rallies, uh, it, didn't, it didn't hold. It came back down one more time. But this, when the you know the previous on page one of this indicator, you know the market flips sideways for you know four or five, uh, sometimes six months. So we're in a four month time frame right now. So we're due for this indicators, both these indicators, to get above minus ten and actually stay above minus ten. Uh, I put my newsletter uh, last week that I did buy options last Thursday. Okay. which is a little bit higher than where we are right now. But the odds still say I'm probably price-wise, a pretty good price-wise, about out December's. December, uh, okay. So so I got plenty of time, I think, even though this market wiggles a little bit lower over the next week or two. Time-wise, we're pretty good. We're pretty close for these two indicators to get above zero, a minus 10, rather, and stay above minus 10. So we'll have to wait and see if I'm right or not. We'll be talking about it if I'm wrong or right, I guess. We get, we, you know forward. what we need, Tim? We need some kind of a, like a drink that gives us all patience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Actually, when I was younger, I, I didn't have patience for all this crap. You know. Oh, listen, just, man. You know, I remember saying to you on the air in like 96, man, like, yes, you're coming off saying this. I'm saying, What? Because my time frame then was like tenths of seconds. And like you're saying, a month and a half. This is a month and a half, man. What are you talking about? I mean, I, I have patience now. I have big patience now. I mean, I, you know, it's just you'll learn it over the course of years. But I remember that so well, man. Like a month and a half. I mean, it's like, what? <laughs> yeah. God, yeah. But that's where the big yeah, money's yeah, made. That that's where the so, big yeah, money's made. Sometimes I'm a little bit early on these trades, and, and sometimes, uh, you know, I never probably will be cured of that because. Right. Um, but yeah, but sometimes I've nailed the lows here within a day or two. Mostly that's been luck. But um, a lot of times I got, the, as long as I got the bigger trend right. That's right. You know I mean? I'll be okay. That's right. Um, and particularly because so, what happens, folks, these gold stocks get so low. And I know plenty of your own gold stocks. I mean, because you can get a double in about a heartbeat. You can get a double like in 10 days, you know, yeah. when, you know, well, well, I'm not talking about a stock that's 50, but these stocks that, you know, five or 10 bucks, they go in about 10 to 12 days and then they'll, they'll go even further. But that's how fast they come off the bottom. Because the market's so small. This gold market is so small, man. I mean, it's tiny, in, in, you know, in correlation to, the amount of shares that are outstanding, the market caps, all of the above, you know. So right, and you know, over the last couple of years, you know, we've been, you know, we've been going up and down, but it's just been garbage moves. That's right. You know, that's uh, right. And at some point, they're going to leave everybody behind. They're, they're you know, yeah. the rally's going to go. Everybody's going to sell, and the, and the market is going to keep going. And yeah, you know, we had, we had at twenty. Some point, that's going to happen again. Yeah, it happened in two thousand. Happened in two thousand. Well, 2010, it was basically a top went straight down, but that was a trending market. And so we're due for another trending market at some point. You know? Right. And because garbage moves over time have, have led to impulse waves. You know, you, you just got to figure out which, which way that impulse wave is going to go. Yes. So um, I, I'm thinking this one's kind of lining up uh, to the upside. Well, it lasts, I don't know, you know, but we're due for a big breakout, you know, it. No, I, I guess, hanging uh, yeah. all-time highs here, and uh, the the equity market or the gold GDX market, you know, is just just kind of been garbage. It's just been setting low, and not doing very well, and and you get short-term bounces that last, you know, maybe a month or two at most, and it comes right back down again. So right. I don't know. We'll have to, to wait and see. Remember the good old days, you know, you got you know, you, you bought these twenty-five sip. You know, gold stock that went to teens and twenties. I know, know, man. Yeah. So, yeah. It was, Be that was between fun back you know then. that a garbage stock, it turned into a garbage stock. But Coeur d'Alene, I remember I bought that at thirty cents, and I think I sold it at twenty bucks, uh, fifteen yeah. bucks. And then I of had, course I, I had BGO, and, and we had BGO buying around a quarter, right? right. And uh, and I sold it in, in the teen, like at ten or eleven or something like yeah, that. Yeah, which and is I was insane. extremely happy. I know. <laughs> So, well, listen, right. Tim, it's always a pleasure, man. You have a great weekend, a safe weekend. We look forward to speaking to you on Tuesday. All right. Thanks, Sounds man. Good. Stay Thank right you. there, folks. Come right back. Yeah. <laughs> 
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 7, NASDAQ off 10, S&P's off 5. Let's go to Phil in Montana. Phil, what's going on, brother? Hey, good afternoon. I, I was just wondering if Tim had similar... Um, uh, depictions in silver or I don't know about platinum I, I haven't heard him ever mention that I'm just wondering if, well if you I will that kind of picture in the complex as a whole what normally happens Phil is that the complex does move together yeah I mean particularly silver and gold you know I mean they almost go step for step the difference is silver is highly volatile meaning that it'll go up faster and it goes down faster you know, platinum platinum's kind of its own deal, a uh, different ball game. But silver and gold, they, they move together, man. You can see their charts together, the whole ball of wax. You know, the volatility yeah. is pretty I'm intense. Just, I'm uh, just wondering if all of his, uh, his oscillators uh, kind of depict the same thing of, uh, of uh, you know, uh, what, are they, what do you call them? Uh, you know, I'm with uh, you. I, and, and, yeah, I, yeah. and I'll ask him, but I know him well enough that he is very focused and the stuff that he's focused on he stays right on that you know what i mean you know like i look at dollar i look at bonds and all that but you can see his yeah, ratios yeah. once he gets something that works for him and he does those ratios he just stays right with that so uh, <laughs> yeah yeah no pretty, I, I pretty cool huh a, yeah i know for sure yeah, yeah. but you Bye, know son. that hey, have a good one that right. 
Yes, have a great one, man. Have a safe one. So what has happened, what does happen, folks, okay? I mean, right from, I've been doing, you know, the metals now for 22 years, and silver and gold move together, you know? Silver is much more volatile. You know, you're, you're gonna go up faster, you're gonna go down faster, uh, out of nowhere, actually. Um, you know, the, the big problem still, like, you know, when it happened, uh, let's do this quickly, in Mexico today, um, the airports, the, the government came in after the airports, taxing the airports. The Mexican government, right, is not friendly right now to mining concerns. That's why those, you gotta be careful with those Mexican stocks. And that used to be the best place to, to basically, you know, buy Mexican stocks for, you know, gold and silver, because they've been around so long. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Great show, folks. Go get them.